Okay, in this video, we're actually going to install and configure the Rapid Mailer plugin. And it's very, very easy to do. All you need is to click this button right here, and this downloads a digitally signed version of your plugin. This is encoded with all your information, your username, password, and everything else, because this is your unique, 100% unique copy. So just click on that, it will download. You can see it's downloading literally right here, if I actually click the right button here. So you can see it's downloading right now. That takes just a few moments and you'll be good to go. Now, once it's downloaded, um, you will need to come over to your site where you want to install this and you click on plugins or go to add new and you want to come to the upload section right here. Then you can choose your file I'm going to go to my downloads folder here, and there it is. You can see it's encoded and digitally signed with my information. And click open, and then click install. Now it takes just a few moments to actually install that. And if you have a host that doesn't like you uploading files bigger than two megabytes, you can actually upload this via FTP. Basically unzip the folder, upload via FTP into the WP content plugins folder. In fact, let me just go over here. I'll show you this in FTP and I'll come over to my uh, site here just to show you. Come into your main folder where you have all your stuff, WP content, plugins, and you would literally unzip the folder, this unzip it and then drag the folder across to here and that's the manual install way you can do that with filezilla which is a free client and uh, you're ready to go but i'm going to activate this now because i've in i've installed it the normal way and we are ready to go now you're going to see a thing that says hey you need to activate it you see it down here activate imse rapid mailer and we need the username and password so and the oh, well, the email and the code so I'm going to grab this and uh, I'm doing this with a trackball let's do that and again make sure there's no spaces I, I noticed I got a little bit of a space at the beginning there so make sure there's no spaces and then this is a demo account we'll be deleting this after these videos so don't <laughs> I've had people in the past it's kind of funny I've had people in the past uh, literally try and copy my uh, codes that I show like this and it's kind of funny to watch that happen but um, okay so we make sure there's no spaces here and we just click activate now to verify everything and then it redirects to the dashboard you can see here this is the dashboard now mostly it's already configured we've already set it up to work with your base system and your host and everything else and you can see over here just a quick tour you've got your total number of subscribers your total number of lists we create one default list for you and then you've got a dashboard which shows you how many subscribers you've got how many mails you've sent versus bounced and then you get a little list down here of your most recent emails and you can quickly go to create broadcast subscribers create a list check your queue and this is mobile friendly we've made this so you could use it on your cell on your ipad or what have you so you can mail out any way you like. Now, um, now that we're installed, let's go to the base configuration. We're going to cover some of these other options and items in other videos, but let's go to the actual main configuration and get started there. So the first thing, let's close the dashboard we, uh, on the members area. We don't need that anymore. The first thing is your general settings. Now, in here, you want to also set up your uh, administrator email so you can get notifications and also this is the um, email that people will see when they subscribe so you might want something for example like notifications at whatever your site is uh, just like that and then maybe your admin one will be the same you will just copy that across this was a clone of a website so it's got a few different things there um, this is for um, email tracking you want to leave that on again we've left the default settings pretty generic so that this is good for most people but there are some advanced options in here so email tracking this is basically we put a little invisible pixel inside HTML emails so that 
um, we know if the email has been opened or not. Um, we're on the cPanel host here, but we also, you can switch between what kind of host you've got, cPanel or Plesk. cPanel is generally the best uh, option if you're on GoDaddy or even a non cPanel host, that's the better option. Um, there's a couple of things here for, uh, uh, you know, just general settings, adding um, different headers so that we maximize your deliverability. We spent a long time making sure that we've got everything rocking and rolling here for absolute maximum uh, deliverability. You can also use gzip compression, mail type, whether you want to use, for example, this is where you would set up Amazon SES, SendGrid, um, Mandrill, Mailjet, any other system that we support. Um, you can So you would put in your credentials here. We'll go over that in a little more detail in another video where we're talking about those specifically and how to sign up and set up. You can also use a Gmail account um, with SMTP. We do recommend that um, you be careful with Google's as, uh, you know Gmail using because they, they don't like you sending out lots of uh, mail through their systems, but it's good if you've only got a small list. Or you can use the built-in mailer, which is uh, great to start with. You can use your host's own limits, and you can send something like, you know, with HostGator, for example, about 500 mails an hour. Check with your host, find out what you're allowed to send per hour, and then you can um, adjust the settings accordingly. Uh, for what we're going to do for this demo, we're just going to leave it on that. And you can then test your email settings, send yourself a little mail, and it'll say, hey, you know, test a little mail, make sure you get it, you're good to go. You can even set test, including an attachment, and uh, you know, you, you're good, you know everything's working if you're receiving that email. So that's a great, that's a quick start. There are a few other things as well. There are some sending settings, so you can set off... Um, for example, uh, we have a special page for people to manage their subscriptions. And, you know, there's, uh, you could uh, see your sending progress. This is Ajax. Send multi-part emails. Um, and that, again, we leave that on. That's because it sends an HTML email plus a text email. If you send those, again, you're increasing your deliverability. Um, let's see. Email priority, normal. Enable short links. This is very cool. If you enable short links, um, this is where you can track your clicks. And you need a free Bitly account. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. As I say, you can uh, get your, you know, basically create a Bitly account and get your tracking. But then you can tra track your clicks through all of your emails using Bitly. Very, very powerful and uh, works very well. You can also uh, embed emails. We've got a little system that we're adding to this system on release. So you can ignore this little warning here, but you can then embed images right in your emails uh, as standard. We also have some um, options for uh, subscribers. Would you like to redirect them? Would you like to use, um, you know, capture forms? for uh, the sign-up forms that we have built into this. And there's all sorts of other little options there. We also have paid subscriptions. We'll be talking about this in another video. And uh, that's a very, very powerful little system. You can actually charge for subscriptions. And again, you've also got your post publishing. We can send out emails based on your posts. Uh, so if you release a blog post, you can attach an email to that, blast it out to all of your members. Very, very cool indeed. And there's also, again, you can send out your scheduled emails, how many you want to send out per, uh, per run. Now, this is where we were talking about if you're using your own host. Um, say, for example, your host allows you a thousand emails per hour or something like that. We'll keep it simple numbers. Well, this runs every two minutes according to the schedule here. So we have to then basically divide um, the thousand by however many times that is per hour running. So every two minutes, that's 30 times an hour. A thousand divided by uh, 30, about 33, 34 um, per run. So you can just add that in there. If we could say 34, and that way I know per run, if I'm running every two minutes, that I'm sending out about a thousand emails an hour. That's how, you know, you can figure that out. Now, if you're using a third-party service like uh, Amazon SES, um, SendGrid, 
you know, a lot of those systems will, you know, with well, SES will allow you to send 10,000 a day for a dollar. Well, that's fine. You can send your emails out over a period of time, or you can ramp it up as long as uh, you've got the you know, reputation with those systems. We'll go into that in a lot more detail later on. But that's a very quick way to do it. And then once it runs, you can also send yourself a little notification log. By default, we turn that off. But every time it runs, um, you get a little notification about how many emails and if there's any problem sending. So you might want to set that at first just to verify everything's cool. Have it go to uh, an email address where you're not worried about getting 30 emails an hour. But uh, you can see then everything's rocking and rolling. Now we also have bounce configuration that is um, checking for emails that are not valid. And uh, once they're all running and everything else, you, they kind of clean out the system. That way you're not worried about it. You can also... Uh, get bounce um, notifications as well and uh, that's all cool now the other way we do this um, again latest post subscription you can also allow people to subscribe right from your blog to join your list and that's uh, very powerful we also have themes scripts custom CSS basically we give you the power to absolutely customize everything that's the whole point of this entire system is email is in your control not someone else's so let's go back up to the top real quick scan past all these features and what we'll do now is look at the other side of things so we'll just go through the subscriber section again this is for managing subscriptions and uh you can also set you know kind of generic thank you pages and stuff like that here um allow people to view emails in the browser so if they can't view it on their system they can actually click a link and get a full view of everything that's going on the entire email and uh, that's very powerful we also have the um, unsubscribe behavior again we're making sure we're i can spam compliant here so you can um, unsubscribe a user on deleting an account because we integrate with all the members you may have on your account as well so if you've got an entire membership site or a forum built into your blog and you've got all these user accounts you can automatically pull all of those people into your mailing lists and autoresponders here as well so there's all sorts of options for that and i'm just going to skim through the other options real quick because some of these um you've got email templates for notifications for yourself and everything else these are not templates used for the themes and the content this is stuff for yourself for admin notifications you can set up your company profile this is again i can spam compliance this is just setting up your name and you know phone numbers and your, your social media integration with your links because again we support all of that um, all of that can be embedded in your emails and we make it that much easier we have short codes for everything as well we also have social media integration which is uh, sh sharing of your mail right from within your mail which is very very powerful and then we got some kind of just general kind of advanced stuff with uh, the system integration uh, even a little tiny MCE button send as newsletter box so this is just turns off some of the features the display features and everything else you can again here's the part I was talking about auto import wordpress users and you can say okay fine and where do you want them to go onto your default list uh, do you want them to be single opt-in or double opt-in generally in that situation we recommend no just they're already on your um, system so that's fine and then um, we've got a few other options in regards to that as well you know our registration checkbox and things like that that we talked about earlier on this is the place where you can actually activate them and then you've got scheduled tasks this kind of just gives you a summary of bounce checks uh email running uh latest post subscriptions autoresponder emails and you can run any of these tasks at your discretion manually but again the system handles all of that automatically for you so we've got a few things there for you as well so um that's basically it in the next video we'll talk about setting up your lists and sending out your first emails and then uh we'll you know continue on from there so i hope you enjoy this video let's get rocking and rolling and send some emails